In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how I went from this concept to this reality. The effect I wanted was a little magical effect when the unit was clicked. Kind of just to enhance the user interface, make it prettier. To do it, I used Flash. Uh, the reason why I used Flash is because I didn't want to have to spend hours and hours with a 3D program or, you know, hoping that I could render out many versions of the concept and that they looked right because that would have been a really pain to fix. So I went about it by programming it. I am going to have to pull my windows from the my right monitor into the center monitor so forgive me it's gonna look ugly while I'm doing that and if I forget to do something over here that's why I'm kind of used to everything on the right monitor I'm first going to put it in black because you can't really see a white effect unless you have a dark background here's the original I'm going to be pasted in a ring for this is what I used to kind of guide me to know where I was going to be putting the effect. First we start off with a the faded object. It's a good name. A box. Square. I I have a linear color with a zero alpha white. If you do zero alpha black, it's going to look funny. It's going to have this little gray tone in between it before it gets to the white. So try to keep everything the same color. White zero to white 100. I, did, I didn't put it all the way to the right because it would have been too faded out. I wanted it to kind of have some substance at the bottom without ever going away. Now making the box any size is not good. It needs to be a specific size. I am going to make it one height, 100 width. It will then turn up, up, up and down wise. I'm aligning it at the zero point so it will be easier in the next part. Okay, the next part will be the part that animates the faded object. The animated faded object, which we put in the faded object. It's tiny, so it's hard to get this little rotating thing, and I don't know any hotkeys. Okay. Put it at zero, zero. I want to move its anchor down so that while resizing it, it doesn't go all crazy like. Don't need the colors anymore. 20 pixels, it's going to come back to exactly what it was before. At 10 pixels, it's going to be different though. It's going to shrink to 20 pixels. 20.5, close enough. Um, the way I like to tween is by selecting it on the properties. I feel like this has a much better result than right clicking the object and telling it to tween. Or however the other way is that you tell it to tween. Which I'm not too sure right now because I've been doing this like this for a while. Click on the timeline and then say tween motion. In this case, on this part of the tween, I am going to have it ease in, out, 100, and then ease in on the first part, so it's negative 100. It should basically hover at the biggest part, the tallest part, and then 
quickly go by the smallest part, which would be this part. Fast and hovers. It goes fast and hovers. On the ring itself, here's where the fun begins. I'm going to put a quick uh, very zoomed in. I put that at zero zero, by the way. So make sure these are falling exactly on pixels. This will be um, a guide. I don't want it to actually be in the final result. And here's the animated faded object, full size. I'm going to move it to zero zero real quick and then use shift to move it over using pixel dimensions instead of flash likes to stick it in the middle of files. I mean in the middle of a pixel. I like for it to be exactly on the pixel. Okay. I'm gonna pick a random spot on this line. Uh, I like this spot right here, it's very white. And so I'm gonna use this white. I want to put this fader on top of the white, kind of like where it is, there. And I want to use that as a reference. Every time I see a, that color white, I want to put a fader on top of it. So copy, paste in the same place, and then there. Okay, that's half. Looking very nice, I must say. I'm going to create another layer for the other half just because it's going to be mighty annoying to try to see what I'm doing if I can see the back half. I'm going to grab one of these, paste it over here. I want to do the exact same thing I did a while ago, except for on this far left one. I'm actually going to put it on the line. 